Hi everyone, welcome back. We continue on this list and today we are gonna learn about a very important function which is set mouse callback function. This function help us to be able to handle uh, mouse events. For example, what are the mouse events? Left press, right press, scrolling and hovering and some kind of functionalities which our mouse has. So uh, in this case we are gonna learn how to use these events uh, with this very important function. And first of all maybe we need to check what are those uh, mouse events in here we can see via on this part and here are the uh, functionalities here are the events which our mouse has and you can check this later and first just to remind in the code part this is uh, listed by the number this just enumerations so uh, it start from zero so if you uh, call instead of writing event mouse move if you write zero it will represent this so one is this two is this and this kind of it's continuous yeah just to keep in mind and also the, there is a mouse callback function which is in here uh, we are gonna make a, a similar function this on our code and we are gonna call this via on this it's just taking event it's not just taking it's gonna give us it's gonna give us the event type and x coordinate y coordinate and some flags or if you wanna extra optional user data if you put and like that let's continue on code part and understand more clearly first of all uh, let's calling the function directly set mouse callback function first of all which window you want to uh, control your mouse events so input our video uh, our window name and after that mouse callback function we don't have yet let's create one uh, mouse callback function and it's gonna be like uh, let's call it mouse events event control let's say and we need to specify an event type and x and y coordinates and after that flex and after that uh, just user data let's call it void pointer and it's done i think if we back how i write, wrote this function why on according to this uh definition i wrote that event x y flex and user data and after it's done so we are able to call our mouse event control you can uh, name it according to your case and after that we can also need to give user data which is in here in our case we don't want to give for now and it's done now i'm gonna be able to call this function via on this uh im show window and uh first of all maybe we can understand via on console right so we can see how it looks like event and also i wanna put some x coordinate and y coordinate then let's see how it looks like run the code okay now uh, when i'm moving here you see it's writing started the event is zero and the coordinates is writing you can uh, compare now i'm also here written the coordinates so we can check it's correct or not uh, so it's correct and now I'm hovering so it's calling hovering event which is zero enumeration we can also check from here in here you see in the case that the mouse pointer has moved over the window which means hovering so I'm hovering and it's calling this event correctly for example this is left down left button down so if I press with my mouse to the left button down it's gonna call uh the enumeration one if i'm release my left button it's gonna call two let's try okay now i'm pressing yeah it's called one and four not two sorry because the fourth event is the release button this is uh, right mouse is pressed sorry so we can try this kind oh and also uh, you can in here make some filters for example and event is equal to let's say um we can also call directly the name but for, for now maybe no need 
and we can write here um, left click is pressed and uh, let's copy this and else if uh, what was the for if it's clicked to for left click is the list we can see and this kind of also scrolling maybe let's try to know there are scrolling also in here or scroll click we can also check middle mouse means scroll ma button so double click this is represent the middle button is pressed which is one two three four five six seven and like that nine maybe uh, three and one nine so we can also check it so three is uh, we can call scroll scroll button is clicked pressed or then also scroll button is list we can call by this and this that the enumeration is nine if I'm not wrong let's see run it again and see the result now it's got it's not gonna give some noises because I filtered by if cases so I'm clicking the left button and it's pressed and I released so it's correcting it's correctly working so I'm pressing scroll and released release not working because most probably I give a wrong uh, implementation maybe it's better to be sure <laughs> directly using the flex event middle button down and middle button up where is middle button up okay let's find it middle button up okay it's better to use these cases sometimes I just, it's not good to use like this and now I'm pressing to the scroll click and release and now it's working yeah and it's also giving which for example I press here and released here and it's working very fine it's working very perfectly so these mouse events in most of the cases is they are very useful so it's better to learn these functionalities so in this video basically I wanted to show you how to use them easily and see you in the next videos.